What's up guys, Larkham, and today we got the final season two trailer. I haven't used my face cam for, God, probably been about seven, eight months now. So if you're new around here and you don't know what I look like, this is what I look like. Anyway, let's beat around the bush, get straight into this, because man, I've been so excited for this season two, because season one really did feel like a, another beta, in a way. Right, let's start it. Ooh. All right, here we go. God, how, how much is going to change? Okay. All right, new outfits. <laughs> new map. Oh my God. The different color tones as well. Oh, it's all pixelated. Right, I had to give that a quick rewind. Can't go over this. This is nuts. It's like a completely different game. Yeah, but Gateway looks cool, i got to admit. This reshaper as well. Nuts. Dematerializer. See what? Anti gravity cube. Oh, come on, what else, what else? 5v5 mode, power shift, hang on a minute. What is that platform about? Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my, mate, you thought that the destruction couldn't get any more intense on this game. It's nuts. Really interested as well to see how this new AR works. It's got a free round burst. These gadgets though, I wonder like the data reshaper, that like you're changing things, and then a dematerializer so you can drop obviously stuff from above or just take out walls and such. Like, surely this isn't just gonna apply to this map because this map is all like pixely based. Oh my god, the data reshaper as well, you can actually get rid of turrets and such. Look at it, you just get rid of it like that. I, oh my god, I can't wait to get rid of those annoying ass turrets people keep constantly putting down when they flood the map with them. And mines as well, I assume that I'll apply to. New shotty there as well, isn't that? Yeah, it is a new shotty. I still can't get over this. I, I can't wait to play this game mode. The destruction is just nuts. See, this is one big gripe I've sort of always had with the finals, is you can only have teams of three on the team-based modes. And when you do have more friends playing, it's just it's such a pain. I've had it quite a few times where there's been four of us, and we haven't been able to get the fourth person in. But with this 5v5 game mode, oh, it's just, it's gonna, oh, I can't wait. I can't bloody wait. Some of these skins, like, I don't know, that looks like the military one we've already got. I remember that. Oh, wait, hang on, go back, go back. I remember something similar to this in the beta. Like, overall, these these outfits aren't, like, too impressive. There is some cool stuff in here, but, you know, there's nothing like out of the ordinary here. But we know what Embarker like. They're, without a doubt, going to be adding some cool stuff in. And I assume he is going to be a little shoulder pal. Oh, the bunny outfit. And this as well, this orange little foxy thing. This was from the beta, too. I remember using this. Yeah, so we've got the love heart little face mask thing. He's got a TV on his head. I'm so, oh man, I absolutely love these colours for different, like, day and night cycles too. This here in night just looks crazy. And then it switches to day and it's like a completely different map. But these colour tones are just crazy. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm super excited for this. I, I always have been for next content we, we were going to get on the finals. Season 1, like I said at the start, did always feel like another beta, in a sense, where they were just polishing up loads of the game's aspects. The thing is, right, I've seen Embark and me getting a lot of hate the last, like, couple months, every now and then. People hating on them because they're not adding a private match mode to, like, stand against competitive game types and stuff, where people want to do, like, private tournaments. And I don't feel like that should be the main focus for them. 
people have been giving them a lot of slack for stuff like that stuff. It's so basic, but they've still been pushing out updates every single week since December. And it's it's nuts. I can't remember how many updates there's been. I think there's been like nearly 20 or over 20 updates now. I could be wrong, but either way, it's like it's at least over 14 or 15. And Embark actually listen to the community. They know what we want. They're not going to give us everything at once. You do that, you're going to oversaturate your game. But this is nuts. For a free-to-play game for season two content, this is impressive i gotta say season one obviously they only brought in a battle pass system with unlocks through there you know like skins and camos and stuff and with this they've added a whole new map which i think people had the feeling that they were going to do anyway it's kind of obvious that we need more embark deserves their flowers but they ugh, i just i don't understand how people hate on them i really don't i know the player base has fallen but this is a competitive sort of type of game even when you're playing casuals it feels like you're sweating i'm excited for this i mean i'm seriously impressed with embark on this too it literally looks like a whole nother game like it's 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 nuts and i can't wait to see what the future seasons bring just thought i mentioned as well because i've headed on to the finals intel just to see if there's anything else on twitter so the gateway is going to be available for lights the data reshaper and dematerializers for mediums and then the anti-gravity cube for heavies because this suits for classes so well the reshaper and dematerializer i can't i can't wait to use that and also seen this playstation have put hack your way through the final season two live march 14th now i don't think the official map name has been released but as you can see here, hack your way through. It has the AC, AUR, and then the A above it. So maybe Akura is the, what the map's going to be called. I don't know. It could be Akura. I, I ain't got a clue. I thought that was kind of weird. So I thought I'd mention it anyway. It's got, it's got to be something there. I don't know. It's also here with the gateway limited range portal that teleports players and objects between locations. You cannot see or shoot through them. So that's good to know. But maybe because it says uh, objects, maybe you could chuck an object through it. I don't know. That would seem really weird, but I'm, I'm assuming you can just carry objects through. So the dematerializer only temporarily erases a small area of a surface that can be closed back up. So that's nice. I don't know. Maybe you can open up a portal and then shut it straight after because it says it can be closed back up. So maybe, yeah, you open it and then you can close it but anyway it's only temporarily so i assume there's a timer on it data reshaper allows a player to change an object into the world into something else right well, that's some poor english there great for removing enemy mines for example if you met you can remove other people's placed gadgets what the hell that just seems nuts and then the anti-gravity cube a cube is deployed causing an anti-gravity effect within a certain range that affects players and objects well i assume as well there's also going to be a time limit on that but yeah so you've got a burst assault rifle and then we've also got a burst pistol which i've seen on there as well and a pump action shotgun oh and private matches so when i said about earlier about people slaying them for not them they are actually adding them now if you enjoyed today's video please make sure you leave a like leave a comment down below on your thoughts of the trailer and make sure to subscribe